of his runs, as I mentioned earlier, that the endosperms are characterized by 3F, flower, double fertilization, and fruit. So let's discuss about the double fertilization. When a pollen grain lands on the stigma, it germinates and pollen tube grows down through the style when ovules. The sperm and egg fuse forming the fertilized egg. The cells which result after fusion of the gamete is called zygote. Zygote then further develops to form an embryo. Actually, sperm plus egg form uh, zygote. Two N. Sperm plus two pollen nuclei form endosperms. Three N. One sperm fertilizes the egg, and the other combines with the pollen nuclei, giving rise to the triploid three N full throwing endosperm. Okay, embryo sex actually uh, produces uh, pollen nuclei and egg cells. After pollen is deposited on the stigma, it must germinate and grow through the style to reach the ovule. The microspore or the pollen contain two cells. The generative cells and the tube nucleus. The pollen tube cells grows into a pollen tube through which the generative cells travel. As it travels through the style to reach the embryo sac, the pollen tube growth is supported by the tissue of style. The germination of pollen tube requires water, oxygen, and certain chemical signals. Mitotic division of generative nucleus forms two male gametes, means two sperm, and in this stage, tube nucleus disintegrated. So, the pollen tube is guided by the chemicals secreted by the cyanogen, which is present in the embryo sac. It enters the ovule sac through the micropyle. Okay, class, as we know that the generative nucleus forms two male gametes, means two sperm. So, one uh, male gamete fuses with the egg nucleus to form the diploid zygotes and the other uh, sperm fuses with the two pollen nuclei to form the triploid endosperm nucleus. Okay, uh, together these two fertilization events in endosperms are known as uh, double fertilization. Okay class, uh, pollination which brings uh, male and female gametophytes together is the first step in the chain of events that leads to the fertilization. So pollination is the transfer of pollen from the anther of one flower to the stigma of the same or different. There are basically uh, two types of pollination, self-pollination and cross-pollination. In case of self-pollination, transfer of pollens from anther to stigma of the same plant in this case, mostly the pollination occurs easily without any external agency. It takes place only in the bisexual flower. Example include um, wheat, barley, rice, oat, etc. Uh, while in case of cross pollination, transfer of pollen from the anther to the stigma of different plants of the same species, in this case, an external agency such as insect is required. Examples include sunflower, radish, sugar beet, maize, etc. Pollination can be aided by different environmental agents such as bees, moth, butterfly, hummingbird, etc. The flowers of grasses and many deciduous trees are wind pollinated. Their anthers are exposed to the wind. Many flowers provide food for insects and animals such as bee, moth, butterfly and hummingbirds. In return, these birds distribute pollen from one flower to the other flower. Okay, regarding the position of gynoecium on thalamus, the position of the ovary differs among flower based on the position of gynoecium on the thalamus in relation uh, to the other plural parts. Uh, so, what is thalamus? Thalamus is actually the thickened part of the stem, which is also called pedicel, from which uh, the flower organ grows. 
flowers are divided into three um, forms. One is a uh, hypogeneous flower, perigeneous, and epigeneous. Okay, the first one is the superior ovary, also called as hypogeneous. In this time, ovary is attached to the receptacle or thalamus above the attachment of the other floral part. You can uh, see in the first picture. Um, Ovary is located above the receptacle. Examples are legumes, beans and pea, berries and roots. So drupe are also called stone fruit. The second type of the ovary is called half inferior, which is also called half superior or sub inferior or partially inferior. In this type of ovary um, is uh, halfly embedded in the receptacle. Such flower are termed as perigynous or half. Epigynous example is pomegranate. Okay, the third type of ovary is inferior ovary, in which um, ovary lies below the attachment of the floral parts. Thalamus is deep, cup like appearance. The ovary is completely embedded in the thalamus. You can see in the picture. Flowers with inferior ovaries are also termed as epigynous. Example are apple and pear, etc. Uh, students, um, uh, so far you you learn about the uh, life cycle of angiosperm, uh, different types of flower, uh, pollination and position of pollination and thalamus. If you have any question, we will discuss in our uh, question answer session. Thank you.